Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Miss Natalie Glam here. And today we are going to be reviewing the Morphe 24A Artist Pass Palette and I am so excited about it. I used my Ulta points to get this and it came the other day so I've been super excited to test it out. I have not used it. I have swatched some of the pressed glitters because I just couldn't help myself. But other than that, I haven't used it or anything. I did, however, watch a review on it already, which made me even more excited to use it. So hopefully it works out as well as it did for her, as it will for me, I hope. But her name is Victoria, and her uh, YouTube page is Rare Beauty Envy, and I will put it on the screen here. So you should go check her out. I will link that video in the description below so yeah okay so let's go ahead and just show you the palette guys has a giant mirror here I just think it's so pretty like I really like the colors and I really bought this for the press glitters guys the other colors are very pretty but I don't know why I am such a fan of press glitters but okay let's go ahead and get started I have a look in mind I really hope it works out for me so let's go ahead and go into Under the Sun, which is this neon yellow. Okay guys, now I'm gonna be using my Bretman Rock Wet n Wild brush and I'm going to be dipping in. Let me go ahead and zoom me in a little more and get closer to the action. Okay, hopefully now you can see exactly what's going on. Let's go ahead and just put the Under the Sun into our crease. And I did already prime and set my eyelids just so we would be ready to go here. Okay, and I just keep going back and forth in the crease here, trying to build the color up a little bit. This uh, neon yellow is a little bit light. I feel like I can see it more in person than I can on camera. You can tell it's there, at least from the viewfinder. But it's definitely a little bit light. So I'm just gonna keep blending it and kind of building up the color more and more until I get it to where I want it about. Okay, I think I have the about the color I want on there. It's going on pretty well. It's definitely pretty bright. I do like it a lot. I'm definitely going towards all the neon shades in this look here because those are just like really speaking to me with uh, what colors of the pressed glitters we have. I think they're going to look really nice together, so I'm really excited. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next color, and I am thinking about using... And also you can see a little bit of cake back in the pan, but to be honest, not too bad actually. I'm going to go into green room next. So this very neon green here. And I'm going to be putting that on the outer corner and kind of bringing it in to the crease as well and kind of blending those two colors together as best I can. Okay, now I'm going in with the Morphe and Jeffree Star JS12 use this on most of my media videos it is one of my favorite brushes all right now let's just start going in here wow okay that's definitely very pigmented at least right off the bat here and i'm doing more of a padding on motion kind of padding and uh bringing it in word Wow, I feel like this neon green is a little bit more colorful and kind of popping than the yellow color here. I feel it's going on a little bit easier. And you can definitely, I can definitely see it in the viewfinder. Yeah, wow guys, I'm really liking that. I think that's cool. It's definitely very bold and very electric like vibe but like I said I'm literally here in quarantine doing absolutely nothing so this is the highlight of my day and we're going for electric
All right, yeah, that is definitely, the green is definitely more vibrant. I like both the colors, but yeah, the green is definitely a little more poppin', at least, I feel like. I'm gonna take the same brush and go back into Under the Sun, the yellow shade we did first. Kind of pat a little bit back on, try to get those edges kind of blended together here. But, to be honest, I think it's looking pretty good. Okay guys, now we are going to move on. I do have a little bit of fallout here, not too bad of the green, but it definitely fell out a little bit more than the yellow shade. But, I'm doing my eyes first, that's not a big deal for me, I could just wipe it away. But if you do do your face first, that could be a little bit of a obstacle for ya. We are going to be moving on now. I'm going to be using the JS13, the Morphe and Jeffrey, again. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be using that to put a color on my brow bone. And I think I'm gonna go into Private Oasis. So this really big one here, very beautiful. So I'm gonna be putting that on my brow bone. I feel like maybe I should put that on the lid too. Oh wow, oh yes. Oh, are you seeing that? I hope that you're getting the reflection on that. That is so pretty. Yeah, I don't know, I think I'm gonna put that on the lid too, guys. Okay, I had to grab my flashlight. I'm gonna hold it up here to see if you can make it look a little more visible. But that color is so pretty. Awesome, okay, yeah, that's super pretty. I definitely think I'm going to be putting that on my lid too, so let's just go ahead and do that. I am going to be using the press glitters, but not on my actual eyelids. Uh, I'm gonna mostly use them in the inner corner and underneath my eyes, maybe do a little face action once we put the rest of the face on. But that's what I'm thinking for that, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and private oasis again. Friggin stunning. So I'm just going to be using my finger to do this. Wow, it is so pretty. Oh my god, guys, look at that. Disregard my disgusting underneath fingernail. They're barely holding on, but that freaking color is so gorgeous. We might have to use that as our highlight, too. I think we're using... That is so pretty. Yeah, I think we are. I think we are, guys, because that is like... Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay. And tap it on the lid here. Yeah, my nails are so grown out. Like, they're almost halfway there. They're still holding on though, guys. I've lost one whole one that I had to remake myself. And then this one broke that I glued it on again. <laughs> so, you know, we're making it work. It is so pretty. And on these shades, I'm not even using any glitter glue or anything. Okay guys, I think it's coming along great. I think it looks super good. Let me get my flashlight again, try to get it so you're actually seeing that shine there. But yeah, so pretty. Yeah, we're, we're using that for highlight, guys. I'm doing it. Well, so far so good, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put eyeliner on and do my other eye off camera as well, just to save time. Doing the exact same thing over here, putting the eyeliner on and probably come back to show you that and then I will go off and do my full face and then we'll finish up the look with the eyeshadow underneath my eyes and then we're gonna put that as a highlight guys because I think it's gonna be blinding. So I will be right back with both eyes done and lined. Okay guys, I'm back with both of the eyes almost done. I'm going to put shadow underneath my eyes once I do my full face. But I wanted to come back with just this so far with the liner done. Decided to go for a pretty big wing today, but I feel like it's pretty bold. The look's already kind of popping out there, so I like the big wing, and I think it'll look good once I put the lashes on and everything kind of complete the look. So I'm gonna go off again, finish the full face, then come back to do the under eye shadow and use that shade as a highlight as well. So be right back again, but I think it's uh, looking pretty good so far. Okay guys, we are back and I am loving it so far. I think it's turning out super good. I already put my lashes on and everything so that all we have to do is the highlight and the under eyes. And then I was thinking about putting some of the star press glitters on my cheeks or something. 
we'll see. But yes, all right, I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm loving it so far. I think it's turning out super great. Yeah, I'm like, it's definitely bold, but I really like it. Okay guys, I think I'm going to start the under eye look with Max Volume, the super neon pink. Okay, here we go guys. Wow, super pigmented right off the bat, really nice. I'm trying to be careful here, making sure I don't get any fallout on my face now that I have my face done. Alright, I'm thinking this is so cute guys. I think this is definitely like fun, a bright pop of color here. I think all the bright colors work really well and I think it looks super cool. Alright, let me go ahead and do the other eye real quick. Be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and done with that color and I am freaking loving this. I think this looks so cool. I think it's so fun, something different. It's just so eye-catching. Like, I just keep looking at myself in the viewfinder and I think it looks so cool. And we haven't even used the pressed glitters and everything yet and haven't applied our highlight like I said we were going to. Yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Let's go ahead and go back to the highlight real quick, finish that off and then put some pressed glitters on our face, guys. I'm freaking so excited. Okay, so we are going to use the color we put all over our lid and our uh, brow bone. So back into Private Oasis here, this really big color, and I'm going to attempt to use that as our highlight today. Oh yes, I love it. It is a little bit more of a little chunkier highlight, if you would, because obviously that's not what this is technically, but really, for whatever you want guys. Experiment with makeup, do whatever you want, find fun things to do. So, so I feel like some people might not like that it is a tad glitter, glitter? Why do I always try to say glitterly? Gl glitterly. But it definitely does, it has a more glitter appearance to it. So it's not just like, a, I don't know, shimmery. But I think it looks freaking amazing. Oh yeah, it's super nice. And in at least uh, real life, when I'm looking at the mirror here, it definitely has a very like blue glitter to it as well. And I think that's so pretty. I definitely feel like the eyes are over the top. So I'm like, we are going in on it today, guys. We are highlighting everything. Okay, I think that is looking so good. I already put some lip gloss on too, so I'm like gonna try to kind of put it on my cupid's bow without getting the gloss on this brush. All right. Okay, I think that looks so good, guys. Yeah, I am so in love with this eye look. I love it. I am so happy about it. Okay, now we're going back into press glitters, guys. I'm freaking pumped. This is what brought me to buy this, uh, well, use my Ulta points, but to get this palette, the press glitters are what I really was like, yes, please. Okay, guys, I was just kind of glancing to see what kind of glitters I want to use. I've said this on my channel like four or five times, and I always say it by accident, and I just said it by accident. Glitterly, and I chose the pink shade to use in the corner here. And I looked to see what the name of it is. The name of it's glitterly. I'm like, I thought I just made that up. Like, someone else knows about it. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Glitterly, it's a word. Oh my god, that is that's freaking hilarious. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm like, so yeah, we're using glitterly. Yes, please. All right, I'm so excited. I'm taking it on my JS13 again. I use this brush a lot for small little corners. It works great. It is looking so good. Hopefully you can see it. When I'm done, I will get close to the camera so you can really zoom in on the eye look here. But, because I'm like, by the viewfinder, I don't know if I can tell, but hopefully you can. But this is so pretty. And I do have to tell you guys, you do need to be careful. 
The glitters, uh, to be honest, this probably says artistry palette. So they don't call it an eyeshadow palette. Uh, a lot of the colors will stain your eyelids and so they call them pressed pigments, not eyeshadows. And it's safe, it's just gonna stain your eyelids. You can use a whole bunch of different things to take that off your lids, it's fine. But you just have to be careful not to get the glitters in your eye. Usually it means not to be around the immediate eye area. So I'm kind. that's kind of where I'm putting it right now. So just be cautious, use at your own risk. I am loving it, I am so happy, okay. Thank goodness, okay. Cause I, if you didn't watch my palette bingo, which I recommend you watching, uh, I had a great time doing that. But uh, the Jaclyn Hill 2 palette by Jaclyn Hill and Morphe, so far I've used it three times with the one in the video. And I just am not loving it guys, I've been trying. I don't know, it's just, it just hasn't been working out for me. But, so I was kind of worried that this, because it's another Morphe palette, I was like, oh, I hope it, like, I was having problems blending the other shadows. So I was a little worried. But it is freaking amazing. I am, there's obviously a little bit of glitter fallout on my cheeks. But that's okay, I'll just take a makeup brush, kind of flick it away to the spots I don't want. So, that's fine. Oh my god, it is so pretty. Sorry, I'm probably like zoning out. I'm just like zoned in to like how awesome I think that these glitters are. And the whole, the whole thing. I am just so, I'm glad I chose the neon ones too. And I was even looking at before I saw this palette, uh, like all of these shades here. Uh, the new Urban Decay Wired. I've been looking at that and I was like, ah, meh, 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 meh. but and I didn't get it. And but when I saw this, it had those neon colors like that palette, uh, similar. But the pressed glitters, I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, I need it in my life. And I believe this was only twenty nine dollars. Like I said, I used my Ulta points to get it. But twenty nine dollars, I feel like is super fair. The colors that I've used so far have are like amazing. I'm I love it. I can't wait to get into the more because if you really look at it, like if you cover these, all those top ones are fairly kind of neutral. Like you can create a nice neutral everyday look, and then start going into like a little more crazy weekend summer colors. Like I think this is so fun. Like I I will definitely recreate this look again. Like I am so excited about it. Okay, I'm going to attempt to put the. Spotlight Stealer, that is the pressed glitter with the big chunks of stars in it. So I'm not gonna put that like, ugh, I feel like maybe I'm gonna try to do like this outer area right here with a little bit of the stars. Hopefully they will stick. If not, I do have some uh, NYX glitter glue, but that's in the bathroom. I'm in my room, so we're gonna try it without it so far. I'm taking a small Real Techniques brush to try to get individual stars. We'll see how it works, I'm not sure yet. Okay, there aren't any stars in this little so far, but that glitter is so pretty. Like I said, you probably can't see very well. I will get closer to show you the final look to really zoom in, but I am like, uh, I'm obsessed with this. I'm gonna have glitter all over me for forever and I'm just fine with it. Okay, I'm having a little difficult time picking out the actual stars with the brush. So I'm gonna try to use my finger. I used uh, some tweezers to get a couple of the stars out. So I'm gonna try to individually put it on there. Cause it wasn't, oh, nope, lost one. One down, star down. It didn't wanna stick on the brush very well with me just poking at it. So now I got one. That is so cute! Oh man, I'm freaking obsessed with it. I still have how many days? Okay, what day is it? I don't even know what day it is. That's like, oh, tomorrow. So I'm filming this Saturday. Tomorrow's Easter. You'll probably be seeing this Monday or two, probably Monday is when you'll be watching this. But till quarantine ends, I'm like, I'm gonna wear this palette every day because I feel like this is probably 
pushing it for my work like I usually look pretty crazy like I do like all kinds of looks but this is pretty neon but I'm freaking obsessed with it I'm gonna do I'm gonna use this palette for as yeah the entire time I'm not using any other palettes I'm so obsessed with it <laughs> Okay guys, I got two big stars on each eye. To be honest, it does feel like I'm probably going to need to get some glitter glue because they're on there, but they don't feel like they're really stuck on the face. Like I can kind of see the edges poking up, so I feel like it could possibly fall off my face at any time if I'm not careful. But So for now, I'm going to just leave them, but after I'm done, I might put a little glitter glue on there and make them make sure that they are stuck on there. But yeah, I am like just so, I'm loving it. I think this looks so good. I'm like, okay. yeah, yeah, we got a good one, guys. I'm celebrating. We got a good one. Woo, yeah. Okay, I feel like I want to put a little more of the glitter, another pressed glitter on. So we are gonna go into invite only right here. And in person, I don't know if you can see it. It's a little gold, it's a little yellow. So let's go ahead and dip into that using the same Jeffrey Star brush. I'm like, where do I want to put it? I don't know, but I just want it. I just, okay, I'm going to go in the main inner, inner corner. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it has like hints of like orange and green and yellow and pink. Oh my God, it's amazing. I'm almost like, I want to buy another one of these palettes just to have the pressed glitter. So I feel like they do go through a little faster because it is like more loosely packed, more, uh, and I use, usually use pressed glitters and most every day of my looks, I put them in the little inner corner and whatnot, but like all the ColourPop ones I have, but I would buy this just so I can have a backup of the, these glitters because they are freaking amazingly beautiful. Alright guys, I think I am going to call it quits because it's getting a little crazy, but I freaking love it. I am so impressed with this palette. If you can get your hands on this, it is on the Ulta website. Uh, like I said, $29 and at least the shades that I use, the neon shades, I just think this is so beautiful. I freaking love everything about it. I think it worked great as a highlight too. Like it just, it feels nice, it feels comfortable. It didn't take too much to really get the pigmentation on there really well. I love it. I am so impressed with this, guys. I definitely think this is a must have for summer. I think this is so fun. Like I am so excited. Change of clothes, like I'm wearing a black shirt right now, but put something just like bright and colorful on. I feel like you just want, it just like gives you energy. All right, let me get a little closer and zoom you guys in. Okay guys, got my hair down. I think this is just so great. Like I just sound like a broken record now, but I am freaking in love with this eyeshadow look. Okay guys, let me know what you think of this look down below. I would love to hear your comments. Is this something that you would be interested in? I think this palette is amazing. These are the only colors I've used so far, but I thought I got a good variety of some of the more bright colors and definitely tried a lot of the glitters and I'm just super happy with it. I can't wait to experiment more with this and I still got plenty of time to do that with it being quarantine still so yeah now go ahead and give this video a like if you liked it please subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you and i hope you guys have a great day wherever you are and i will be seeing you all very soon bye